Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? I tell you right now, the net just keeps getting tighter and tighter when it comes to Guillermo Rigondeaux closing in on some of these featherweights and junior featherweights. Following Guillermo Rigondeaux's one punch destruction, breaking Jazza Dickens' jaw and stopping him in two rounds. Jazz Dickens, he decided to release the pictures of his swollen, broken jaw, giving fans a little bit of an idea of the price he had to pay getting in that ring with Guillermo Rigondeaux. Now, Guillermo Rigondeaux, he has stopped three of his last four opponents. Following this second round TKO over Dickens, Guillermo Rigondeaux, he was extremely animated he had a lot to say to all of the fighters that have been avoiding him and all of the critics as well. The first thing he had to say was, quote, Dickens said before the fight, I was an old man, but I ripped his jaw out. All those guys that want their jaws ripped out, I'm here. That's pretty damn deep. I'm going to tell you right now, Guillermo Rigondeaux, he's starting to look like the collector. Because this man is damn near collecting bones, collecting jaws. I mean, when Guillermo Regandial fought the much bigger Amagaza in Japan that was towering over Guillermo Regandial, Rigo broke his jaw as well and had his face completely busted up. When Rigo fought against Nonito Donier, who was a good 15, 20 pounds bigger than Rigo. The last round, Nonito Donaire, he was trying to apply a little pressure because he knew he was behind on the scorecards, and he ended up running into one of Guillermo Rigondeaux's best left hands. And immediately, you can tell that something was wrong with Donaire because he immediately backed up and he had his hand glued to his right eye. It looked like Guillermo Rigondeaux, he broke or fractured Nonito Donaire's eye socket because after the fight, that's the only thing they were focused on is Donaire's damage from that left hand that Guillermo Rigondeaux landed in that final round. The point that I'm making is this is the reason or this is one of the many reasons why Guillermo Rigondeaux is the most avoided fighter in the sport of boxing. Not only do you have a fighter that has tremendous boxing ability, but he has the power of a knockout artist on top of all of that. So when you go in that ring with Guillermo Rigondeaux, not only are you facing getting outboxed and outclassed, you're also facing possibly getting knocked out, or in the words of Guillermo Rigondeaux, getting your jaw ripped out. As you guys already know, Carl Frampton, he was a champion at 122. He, his mandatory was Guillermo Rigondeaux. Instead of fighting Guillermo Rigondeaux, he decided to vacate the belt and move up and fight Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz did something very similar. He was at 122 as well. And he decided to avoid Guillermo Rigondeaux and move up and wait. Now, despite all of the fighters that are avoiding Guillermo Rigondeaux, the good news is Guillermo Rigondeaux, he has a really good mandatory that he's going to have to fight pretty soon. And this is a tough, durable Mexican fighter. He's undefeated. He has a record, I believe, of 25-0 with 17 knockouts. And his name is Moises Flores. This guy is an aggressive fighter. And once again, he's a power puncher. So this would make for a great matchup, great contrast, and it's a type of fight where we can easily see someone get knocked out. And since Guillermo Rigondeaux would be favored to win that fight, this would be a really big win for him. It'll be one of those Rigo versus Amagaza type of fights where there is a lot of action, knockdowns, broken bones, etc etc so I look forward to seeing this fight Rigo versus Flores you have to commend any fighter that's willing to get in the ring 
with Guillermo Rigondeaux because there's been so many undefeated fighters coming up the rankings and as soon as they reach the top they just said you know what I'm okay with being number two Rigo can have that okay so we'll see we'll see if uh, Flores or Guillermo Rigondeaux versus Flores is next we'll see how Carl Frampton deals with the pressure of Guillermo Rigondeaux calling him out fighters like Gary Russell Jr. as well calling him out we'll see what happens featherweight division is a stacked division we'll see that's all I got for now guys I'm on to the next one this is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Mission